So guys, it's been like two years since we did a Zerg vs. Zerg, so I thought, why the hell not? So, a lot of really, 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 really famous people, really good StarCraft players, people who know their stuff, say nothing but good things about this guy, so I'll let them tell you. In the last game, we see a little bit of that Sue magic. I mean, he was often referred to as a ZZ specialist. A right. lot of players uh, would pull back after doing that initial damage, but Sue, I mean, this guy was foaming at the mouth. He was a rabies nerd. That Sue has got the best link control in the, in the business. You will not mm. see a guy who's better at maneuvering, who's better uh, at winning fights, and that really matters, especially in a ZBZ. Rochi breathe, Rochi. You have to have a good position. Okay, so when it comes to ZVZ, what is good positioning? It's basically keeping your army split up to cover all the angles. As you can see right here, this guy's just bouncing back and forth between basically two points with a couple of clumps of units. And he's doing his best to keep these units uh, in separate clusters while at the same time keeping them pretty much uh, parallel to any angle of attack as you see the roach is coming in boom he immediately has a concave he wraps around in a circle and he is very careful not to go through the narrowest part of that choke there's a constant back and forth motion here uh going through the tightest point in that hallway there and as you can see sue is clearly getting a little bit of an advantage pushing through and takes quite an advantage in this fight. Moving forward is a bit of a risky move, but if you'll notice, he's actually moving small segments of his army instead of the whole army at once. And again, swinging in here with a nice concave, and again, notice he is avoiding this little center portion of the right above the hatchery. He pulls right on back. He can't get too far forward with that until his own units start streaming in here, which forces his opponent quite far back. Now this is kind of the beginning of reinforcement and rally concaves. Essentially what Sue does is attack from one angle with multiple clumps of units and then send his reinforcements in through a path that allows him to increase that concave even more with the next wave of units that are coming in. He is already planning that sort of thing. This type of back and forth action, once Ravagers are added in, really makes it hard for Zerg to commit. And in fact, that's what makes ZVZ and Legacy of the Void so different than any of the expansions before, is this constant back and forth motion that you have to get really, really good at. Actually, Tasteless probably said it best when he said, you know, it's funny, ever since the Ravager has been introduced in the game, it's allowed Zergs to actually have a way to force back at an engagement that they would otherwise lose. Yeah. It's such a little funny dance as they're both just shooting balls at each other over and over again, making sure that one player doesn't take too much damage. As long as that doesn't happen, it becomes very, very hard to engage into each other. Sue just always seems to have the concave whenever they fight as well, which is so important in, uh, in ZDZ. Yeah. Splitting up his army and hitting from two sides at the same time. So with all this back and forth shuffling that Sue is doing, he is actually grabbing weakened roaches and turning them into ravagers and then using the shuffle forward to keep those defended while the ravagers are becoming upgraded now he did lose one right there but it's still an incredible technique because the roaches absorb some damage and then turns around and replenishes their hp completely it's like having a brand new unit at the exact same cost as if you had upgraded it from full health it is an amazing technique that is really paying off dividends in this game against leenok and in fact, will pay off in your own games as well. Again, notice the shuffling, the constant splitting of the units into multiple control groups. That is an amazing technique. Also remember, your reinforcements should be coming in at an angle that adds to your concave. Oh my god, it's 15 Ravagers for Sue now. Sue just keeps turning every hurt roach, like every roach is on, is on uh, five or less hit points gets turned into a Ravager. Yeah. Full health all over again. Excellent, Michael. You can see it in the bank as well. It just has a little bit more, even though they have been on the same amount of drones for a very, very yeah. long time now. So, just, this engagement and Sue's little moves, like turning those hurt roaches into ravages, and those ravages being so important for him. The extra range, the fact that they can shoot vials, the fact that they can zone Leonard's army is actually putting him maxed way, well before Leonard here. 30 supply and advantage, all of an army, and he's finally starting to break the, break the back of Leonard here. Bainley's coming in, but 
It's just not enough fan links, Roddy. There is just too much from Sue here, and he's going to start muscling through by the looks of it. Sue's micro was a little too good. He's a little too good in dancing, and he obviously uh, requires the tango yeah. skills a little better than, right. than Lenok does, as the Ravage account was just too high. He cleans up all the roaches here of Lenok, and that's going to be it for game number one on Newkirk. Hey. Guys, if you like this video and want to see more like it, please make sure you hit subscribe and the diddly do below. And if you've ever had any trouble microing in ZVZ, please leave a comment in the towel section below letting us know what your most frustrating ZVZ experience was. I actually want to know. I always read my comments. So I, I'm really curious to see what experiences you guys have gone through and if it's like mine. But if you really want to help the channel, please do me the hugest favor, guys. Leave a like subscribe and share this on your favorite social media with your friends they will thank you for it thank you so much for watching i'm shaft with polygon gaming guys stay awesome